All right, just a quickie update for what's been going on with this game. So I've just finished, um, I think, turn two, because the Germans aren't going to do anything again, so we're going to go into turn three. Um, the map is really small. Uh, there's not very many hexes this one. My God, and I'm still even using it the, the wide way, and it's still like, holy moly, quick. Uh, just to remind people if uh, whatever the red... Uh, Units are the machine gun um, platoons for the Germans. These guys are in improved positions and trenches here and here. And then in Germantown, uh, another um, guy in an improved position. I was at first going to put the machine gun units for the Germans in um, improved positions, but I was kind of like a bit worried because uh, you have to roll to get them out of there. And... Um, I'm not even sure, because they're all reserved units, probably just for combat. Um, everybody on both sides are going to be uh, using the reserved um, optional rule or whatever. Um, I'm glad I didn't, because I moved the machine gun unit a bit uh, over to here. I'm going to try to nail anybody going that way. As I started to take a look, uh, so that's it. I'm really not doing anything. Um, we could... A shoot, I think I could shoot from here. I'm still trying to figure out the light woods uh, thing because it's like I was saying, like layers of translucency to the point where you become opaque or whatever, or, or you need, um, uh, you know, observed fire and so on and so forth to get to the person. But you can never get direct line of fire unless you're adjacent. Or the way I'm doing it is, as long as you don't have, I, I've told you before. So it's it's a gradient. Um, Really glad for the British were able to uh, get uh, the artillery into Von Reed's farm over there. I'm giving Von Reed's farm the defense value of woods uh, just due to the fact that it's been um, racked in the sense from the initial British advance when they drew, uh, pushed the Germans back towards completely Germantown but then went back to get reinforcements. That's why they've got like, for example, two artillery pieces in the gunboat and so on and so forth. Um, and then they're not going to move the uh, the riverboat over there, the gunboat or whatever, until uh, they can still nail that bugger just if, as soon as he starts opening fire, because they, they uh, can't um, do anything yet until um, they get some observed fire for indirect fire. So we've got the machine gun unit. I'm trying to just realize, you know what, what I'm going to do is use these three infantry uh uh, companies or whatever. I'm going to see if we can get across this stream using the um, translucent um, terrain, get them across here and wiggle them around there because uh, this is just a firing zone for the Germans. They're just going to annihilate us. Um, I'm going to keep the artillery piece there as far as I'm concerned. I'll probably start trying to improve the position and we'll just fire from there. I've still got this piece over here. I've got, I would love to get them across to whatever. I still haven't figured out. Remember the rivers or these roads are going to be like canals, rivers, streams, whatever you want to call them. I've never used them before in soldiers. I'm just going to say this again. I th honestly believe this ru rule system is flipping amazing. And, um, it's amazing that they allowed themselves to constrain. I understand, like, well, with the combat, you can see, like, it's like British infantry. They're all, like, BF strong. They're not thinking about, like, later on with the, you know, the volunteers are coming in and, you know, the dad's battalion and all that stuff. Like, you're going to start. It's not going to be the same uh, same combat effectiveness and so on and so forth. Um, it doesn't matter. All I did was you can just say, okay, the British troops are now like Japanese and French, you know, or, or something like that kind of thing. Like I said I, before, I made everybody the same. Uh, essentially, uh, German infantry and British infantry are the exact same because it's black on black primarily anyway. So I'm going that way. Um, yeah, I, mean, I guess we can get into spe specificity later on when I can uh, start cluing into reading more about or know more about the battles. Like certain, like uh, like a Nigerian, you know, uh, regiment that comes in. Maybe I can start using them and give them a bit of an extra um, combat value. But I don't know that stuff yet. I'm just trying to play around here. Um, I love this. It's having uh, I, just something about it. I just really enjoy. So that's it. Um, I'm, yeah, I was actually primarily primarily I just went up here to make this update. I wasn't going to do one, but then Camp Sawyer. Um, commented on my videos and, and I just really I'm like okay then somebody's actually interested in uh whatever I'm like okay I'll try to do uh 
some type of half decent um, contribution, like you know, a posting and whatnot. So that's it. Uh, like I said, the I think it's the British turn, yeah, because I'm so it'll be turn three, and uh, I just don't know what to do anymore. I have to slow down and take a look at the canal movement and so on and so forth. Remember, uh, with soldiers, if um, infantry or whatever need like two of their movement points left, artillery and machine guns need all of them left to be able to fire that turn. So it's, it's I can't just move somebody around all over the place and then, um, you know, start opening up fire or whatnot. Um, the British know full flipping well uh, as soon as uh, there's going to, they're going to start hearing a lot of, you know, pop, 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 pretty soon. But uh, not yet, which is kind of like, I don't know if that's scary or not. I don't know. For, uh, you know, the other side, it's like, gee, would you rather start hearing it right away and hunker down? I don't know. So it'll be interesting. Like I said, I've got nine more turns. We'll see if uh, it's probably not, like I said, we'll just work it out. Um, just work it out. And I'm not going to move the, like I said, I'm not going to move the, uh, the river. There's no need right now. I don't think so. Probably just leave it there. What's the point? Unless I need, at the very end, getting close to the end of the game, and it's like, holy shoot, I really do need to, like, take out that position, so I'll risk uh, beaching the riverboat kind of thing. So that's it. Um, and off we go. I'll just uh, slowly figure out how to hell to move. Like, I know, for example, these guys in the light woods are fine, because they're so far away from these guys. This amount of light woods is uh, essentially making them uh, hidden, unless they do something stupid. Uh, essentially, that's it. So everybody's hidden right now. Yep, every single person. Um, yeah, because the other guys are in trenches and towns and so on and so forth, and the, and the Germans are all in woods and whatever. So that's that. All right, off we go. See you later.